Oh right, magnet fishing and metal detecting is now done for the day, but we got tipped off about an area in some woods with some gravestones. Now, um, we've just stumbled upon a, a couple here, so I'm just going to flip the camera around guys and, and you can have a look at what, what kind of dealing with and then we'll see what other ones we can find. So I'm just going to turn the camera around and show you what we found. But in respect to the families, I'm going to try not to show too much of the names on the greys because, you know, they could be still family about and you never know, they might be watching my video. Alright, let's turn this around. Two graves. And we've got the name. 1827 was dated. Pinager? Pin Pinager? Yeah. The name? So we've got, what one's that was dated? Uh, they, looks like they died on the 11th. August the 11th, 1827. Yep. August. Age 70 years old. 1827. And this one. It's a bit, bit, bit warm. Is 1820? Way. Possibly at the bottom. Not too sure. Could be about the same period, couldn't it? It'd be right. And what cool, um. There's another one here. What cool gravestones these are. So let's have a little walk about. You've got more, is there? Yeah, look. Oh, wow. There's actually a tomb here. So 1873, age 53 years. Wow, wow. Look at this. That's right here, look. Age 53 years. There we go, everybody. Um. Died 1873, age 58. Um, rest in rest. Something oh, remaining in the rest to the people of something. Oh man, there's, a, there's one here for two children. Oh wow. One, one's age seven months. So we've got 1825. Uh, We've got two, 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 two children, like one age two seven children. months, one age four years, four months. Wow. 1860. Don't know about that. Oh, 1862-ish maybe? 1862, yeah. Probably is a six. Yes, it is a six. How yeah, cool. Yeah. That's not, that's not, yeah, there's another big grave and um, we've got stones, stones all right. around us stones 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 we've got broken stones over there we don't know how long or how far in we can go in here but people have been breaking bottles on these gravestones which is pretty bad into the hands O lord into thy hand hands into the hands oh lord into the hands thy hands well i'm gonna go up into here right guys we're gonna go and have a wander and see if we can find out anything else and we'll come back to you get out of it now so this is a 1686 gravestone um of john belize belize it's just all sorts of different stones but we think we might be on top of the church there was a church in here somewhere, but we're not actually too sure where the church would have stood. More gravestones, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a broken one in there. I'm going to risk coming down in here, but I don't want to fall into someone's. A lot. There's more stones here, isn't it? No. So, it's a foxhole. It's just so thick and it's in the middle of absolutely nowhere. But who knows where the church would have stood. Could have stood right underneath our feet. Thanks for joining me guys, um, just that little video, if there's anything else that we've come across I will add it to the end of this video, um, yeah, and this, we'll see you on the next adventure, peace. Guys we're back, um, we've got a stone over here, so I'm going to show you guys, which I don't think the top piece belongs on here, it looks like somebody has 
Um, stuck that on, stuck that on. Let's see if we can get an age. 1924, age 62 years. Her name was Jane Leg. Wow. And it looks like we think we may have come across. There's another one here. Like, got another grave? Yeah, no, well, look, it's a, a square one. Look, grave. Oh, wow. See what I mean? Yeah. There's no headstone. But long, long, long and forgotten, eh? Yeah, yeah. Because nobody's come up here. There's no flowers. There's... But the families would have been long gone. And then, we've got all this work. Wow, look at these. I don't even know whether we should be standing in here, but this. Wow, look at this. This is 1924, so this is a recent. What was this? He served in the King's Own Royal Lancaster Regiment and Royal Air Force throughout his throughout his throughout, throughout the, Great the Great War. War. So this is a this is a soldier. Uh, yeah. Yeah, in the bowl. He Air served. Pilot. pilot. Wow. Oh. Ernest, his Ernest name Willis. is Willis. Well, he's had a good, he had a good innings. He was 95 years old. Yep. <coughs> oh, no. <coughs> no, this is someone else. He died, he died in uh, 1958, age 95. He was born in 1891. He was only 20. He was only 34 years old, dude. Wow. 1891 to 1924. Oh, this, is, this is his wife. This side. This is so wife. he was 33 years of age when he died, and his wife was 95. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you've got another, another one there. I'm just going to try and come through here. I can't see any more beyond this one, but. Who's this? Henry John Horton. 1924. Her beloved husband. 1924, age 64 years. Oh wow, look, there's more in there. Beatrice. Oh, yeah. Let's try and zoom in Wigram. on Beatrice. Beatrice Wigram. 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 You're actually inside a big square there, dude. That would have actually all been inside oh, yeah, yeah. there, look. And I'll there's tell you, one, there's another one here, look. that would have been an expensive burial stone, that. That's a big piece of, um, what do they call it? Oh, there's an old bottle, a couple of old bottles. I've got some old bottles. What's it mean on a bottle when it says no deposit? But inside there we've got a whole nest of ants. It says no, no deposit on the bottle. It's got a number 40 on the bottom. I'm just going to leave these here. There's two there. Oh, there's actually a hoard of the bottles. There's another bottle there. Right, got some information, dude? Right, okay, so this church was built in 1574, and it looks like it's probably knocked down in just after the Second World War. So 1574 to the end of the Second World War? Just, just past the Second World War, so late 40s. Wow, look at this jar, dude. Oh, wow. That was uh, uh, part of one of the graves. Yeah, flowers. I'll, um... I'm just going to pop it there if anyone sees that, they can, uh... but there's hordes of bottles in here, old brown bottles, but I'm not too sure of the age. Oh, I love exploring stuff with this, this is why I've changed my name. Adventures with Mark. And Dave, Ed. Oh. I can see some more broken glass and I hope that it ain't kids up here destroying people's stuff. I've got some glass there, that looks really old glass. 
Uh, I think I saw some more glass down in there, but I'm not going to go in there. Some more edges for, it's actually a square in there, so there's probably another grave in there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. Um, thanks for watching my magnet fishing and metal detecting video that I've uploaded before this. If you haven't checked it out and you've skipped straight to this please you know check out my other videos um i always give my mate ed a shout out so treasure ed everyone go follow him that's treasure e double d go subscribe to his channel get him up to 100 subscribers and he needs to start putting some footage up stop being lazy ed see you on the next one guys peace hey guys i said i wouldn't come back but i have because i've just stumbled up on across a huge huge massive gravestones and there's bugs all over me probably gonna bite me one two three four five six one two three more little baby ones in oh there's more inside there two more this is a mass grave they're everywhere look big gravestones huge another one just here massive There's a mass burial here, dude. Look, you've got like little ones all in a line. And then you've got like, that's like the kids. Almost. And then this is like the adults. Bigger stones. I don't know. Can't get no dates off of these. They're that old. But... Loads, isn't there, dude? Yep, there's a massive one underneath there by you. There's two. There. two there, yeah, one there, one there. Huge things. Possibly one under there too. How old? Eighteen, eighteen thirty seven. I'm trying not to step on them. Bad luck in it, step on them. Uh, well, well, it's hard in here because... Well, clean, clean so I could read. Yeah, oh yeah, you've got 30... 30 something years old. Oh yeah. <sighs> wow, well, so we've just come across that sacred site. And then I'm pretty annoyed that we come across this. This is pretty damn disgusting, to be honest. Considering that this is an old... Yeah! Considering this is two sex, dude. Considering this is an old... Sacred graveyard from 1600s. And then you get kids. You think they can just come up here and dump all this? I'll tell you what I'm going to do on the next time I'm up here. I'll probably bring a carrier bag. And, uh, I mean, there's an old tent. So someone's just burnt their tent because they can't be bothered to carry it. Disgusting. They've got no... No, um... Respect. For anywhere up here. But right. We're still looking, me and Treasure Ed, for anywhere else. That's pretty poor. Anyway, I'm going to stop having a rant because yeah, I'm having an adventure. Right, see you in a bit. All right, everyone. I've just... I'm still in this graveyard. 
I just found this. It's a human bone. Is it human? Probably his animal, probably an old deer or something. Oh dear, he left a bit of his leg behind. Ooh. That's got to be the entrance in, hasn't it? Whoa. Entrance into the church, big ass, yeah, big, big gate. It's a big fucking gate. Man. Yeah, because it goes round, the moat goes right round, doesn't it? It's stuck in the middle of fucking nowhere, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, cool find, Dave, at least you found the gate, mate. Excuse the swearing, everyone. It's Dave. He's fucking doing my head. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, joking. Well, Please. we've got some pottery here. I think that's plastic. It's more plasticky. But yeah, perhaps it is plastic. I thought it was pottery. No, it's more plasticky. Yeah, it's got a bit of writing on whatever that it's got is. Got some on this. This top shelf something, probably modern. Mm. Oh well, I think that's it for today. We've done loads today. Magnet fishing, metal detecting, and a bit of, would this be classed as? Like an Ubex? Ubex type of adventure. So we're gonna get out of here now, I think. We might have, ow, I nearly just tripped over the tree. We'll see you all guys on the next one. I don't think I'm gonna record anymore unless we find something super cool like the church, but we can't find that so um see you on the next adventure guys peace